Hey everybody. So in tonight's video, we're going to open up some electronics. I've got these random things that I don't need anymore. These are two electric razors. Neither of them work. They just don't hold a charge on their batteries, and I have no use for them. These are two MiFi's that I bought from Freedom Pop. I'm, I'm not really going to go into what that is, but these don't work anymore. Freedom Pop just doesn't support these MiFi's anymore. Um, a MiFi is something that picks up a cellular signal through the air um, over 3G, and it rebroadcasts it as uh, Wi-Fi. Um, so, anyway, in this video, we're going to open these up. We've got some tools, and we're just going to see what's inside of them. Because I was just going to throw these away, but that seemed like a waste. And they're not even worth enough to sell these, so we're just going to open them up. Here's the MiFi's. They charge with micro USB. There's some indicator lights here. Here's a power button. And that's really all there is to these. Uh, these actually still work fine as far as the hardware goes. There's just no service that supports them anymore. And that, that's pretty easy to open up. Here's the inside of it. Let's see if we can take this thing off. It's metal. Oh yeah, that comes right off. See if we can go a little deeper. And again, it doesn't really matter if we break it or not, because it's going to be thrown out anyway. Whoa! Oh, shoot! There's a battery in there. Dang! Whew, it smells like a uh, battery. So I guess I punctured the battery. <laughs> now it's smoking. That's kind of interesting. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Open up this other one. And try not to puncture this battery. Okay, so here's the second MiFi. Oh, the back cover is definitely stuck on there. A lot stronger than the front. I'm kind of curious, though, if there's like a SIM card in here somewhere. Because it picks up a cellular signal. Maybe it's just, I don't know, one of these chips. I don't really know what these do. So this battery is what I punctured last time when the smoke started coming out. You know, this is probably a, a really stupid thing to do. Let's just go ahead and just poke the battery. Let's just see what happens on the other one. Yeah, the knife, the blade is inside the battery, basically. I guess this battery might have been dead and that one was charged. Yeah. No smoke's coming out of this one. This is the one that the smoke was coming out of. I can feel it. It's actually very hot right now. Um, you should not stab a lithium-ion battery, apparently. So, there you go. That's what's inside of a MiFi. Now let's see what's inside of these Remington electric razors, which I do not recommend buying. It's a Remington, here's the model number. Do not buy these. These both suck. They both broke very quickly. So, how do we get inside of this? I know that this top part snaps on so you can put it on different attachments so maybe this comes off there's the switch okay the blade is inside so does this just pop up yeah it does so Here's the battery, and here's the motor and motor controller. Okay. 
Okay, so here's the motor. Here's the wires coming out of it. I stripped the wires. Uh, let's just hook it up to a regular 9 volt battery. See what it does. Yeah, the motor actually works. I put a piece of tape on the end of the motor just to help demonstrate that it is actually spinning. So that's kind of neat. I got a little fan now. Okay, here's another idea I had. Here's the motor. Here's the part that plugs into the wall. This converts it into 4 volts DC. Normally, the motor, I think, is 1.4 volts. So I was wondering if I could just plug this directly into the wall, into this. It's going to be almost four times the normal voltage, but just see if it works. Because I took out the, um, the part that you plug it into. So here we go. Let's see if it works or not. Okay, the wires are hooked up with some electrical tape. So let's plug this in. And then... I put a little outlet here on the side of my desk, so I can easily plug stuff in. So is this going to work when we plug this in? What's going to happen? Ooh, nothing happened. Oh, there it goes! We got a little fan plugged directly into the wall. It's going a lot faster than it normally would because it's like four times the voltage. We got a little fan. It's, some, it's making some wind. 